Hi, and welcome to Film Study, an all-American podcast with Lexi. I am Lexi, and I'm just so hyped to have started this podcast because, number one, I love All-American, and number two, I love talking to everybody that I know about All-American, and that's what this podcast is. Um, And so, really excited for the launch. Uh, We're starting off with not one, but two episodes. Uh, The first one is going to be a recap of the first half of season three, and then the second one is going to be a review of episode nine of season three. I got to chat with my friend Chanel about both of those things, so I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, Gear up, here is the first part of our talk, and we are recapping season three, the first half. Enjoy. All right, so so let's hop in. In the beginning of the season, we started out with the Summer Secret storyline, which, you know... Which was a mess. The very first, yeah, was a mess, <laughs> exactly. Uh, we sort of... The first, like, inkling that we get of the season is that we see that Spencer sort of adjusted to life in Crenshaw. He comes back for Liv's uh, Black Lives Matter painting. There's, like, a tension between the two of them. You know, it's, you know, Simone is having the baby and there's tension between her and Jordan and like around this baby and she's nervous <laughs> for him to like see her without the baby, which that I was the craziest we thing. We got an explanation of that. We didn't. And it didn't make any sense. I've never seen a situation in which the woman was scared that the man wouldn't stay if she didn't have the baby. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was like, this is new. And like thinking about it, because I went back and rewatched uh, a couple weeks ago and thinking about it, I was just like, this man was calling you all the time and pacing back and forth out, like outside of you, not, not even outside the hospital, but like outside the room like, that you're in. And you're like, nah, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna talk to him. It was insane. Left that man that on red wild. multiple times multiple times only to then so let's let's start with Judah, jordan and simone like we're yeah. going to go to like the smaller store i talk to the bigger one right left that man on red multiple times and then you know then when she did reach out to him and they were like fine then it was like the very next thing was her wanting to keep the baby which only lasted for a little bit because then she was just like oh and he you know od'd and went, it went <laughs> to go talk to these people I thought she was going to go full saving Isaiah. And then when she didn't, I was like, oh, okay. Because, you know, like the family was, yeah, Yeah. they were sweet about it. I, the family was very, very sweet about it. It was just like, you can stay in the baby's life. But we know that Jordan went to go talk to them, almost made it worse. But then the family was just like, okay, like we can, you know, yeah, you're young. I think they realized that she was young and they were just like, she, she, they knew that she wasn't trying to take their baby, that she just wanted to make sure that the baby was okay. Um, right. So then that whole thing was resolved, and then it was, it's just been up and down with Jordan and Simone, to be honest. Like, <laughs> up and down, up until two episodes ago. And I don't think people Thank realize you. that. <laughs> because they were even having um, problems. I, I mean, I know I'm skipping ahead a couple of episodes. No, you're good, because having are the highlight. You're good. They only, they only, uh, they kept having issues as well at like um, the cabin. Yeah, and yeah, they were, and they were already they married at other. that point. Yeah, <laughs> they were Look. married the whole time. Yes, Why? y'all don't even live together. <laughs> I, those two stress me out. <laughs> they stress me out. But the thing is, is I was just like seeing the cat, like seeing the cabin episode, the ending of that episode. I was just like, okay, like now you can root for the couple because the whole first like beginning of the season had been them having just issues after issues after issues and it was just like oh you know we don't need to know everything about each other like blah 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 okay let's be cute now and it's crazy because it I mean it was even prior to that right their entire origin Mm -hmm. story has been a mess (laughs) she lied on him and said that he was the beast look okay they didn't start at a great place like they're cute now but I mean, it's like Liv said, you guys were fighting for the first six months of your relationship. 
I, as cute oh as they God. are, I don't think it's going to last, and that's just I me personally. I do not think it's going to last either, but I, I think that has more to do with the fact that she is getting her own spinoff series. That's true. Um, so I feel like, I feel like they're going to, you know, see how the spinoff goes, and then I feel like if she gets the spinoff, I can't imagine they, they would be together far into the series. Um. But who knows? Like they might, they might keep them together. So we'll see. I there's some things going around about Jordan and Layla. Yes, I would personally like to see yes. it <laughs> because they they've been hinting at this for, for so the cotillion. long. They, but also, sort of, kind of before the cotillion. They had yes. This is going to be a thing, and I don't want anybody to act surprised when it happens because <laughs> there have been clues. There, there are breadcrumbs. <laughs> Bread Please go back and find them. Ones. Tiny breadcrumbs. Tiny, they, tiny, tiny pieces of bread. They gonna, are there. I don't even think people notice this one, but this is like way back. I don't even remember if it's season one or two, but it was like when they were at the beach and they were like waiting on Spencer to come and they were like playing football or something and Jordan was just like, oh, we have one better. We have Layla. I don't know. I just thought that was cute. Cute little moments. I'm telling you, it'd be them cute little moments. They'll get you in every time. I could totally see Jordan, and it's not my favorite, but I could totally see Jordan like somewhere like in the past having a crush on Layla and just like keeping it to himself. But anyway, yeah, I think they would be cute. Other people might not, but my opinion. I don't I, I think they're two really attractive people and they would look really nice together. They both I think end up getting a bit of the short end of the stick when it comes to like love and relationships. So yeah. I would be interested to see how they would work out because I I mean as crazy as Jordan is, I feel like they could balance each other out. Yeah, for sure. So for sure. I, season we'll nine, when they finally get together, I'm, I'll be here. <laughs> season nine. You said five, five more seasons. Then, yeah. Then come back around. It'll That's be really one of funny. those. And then we're going to briefly touch on these characters because they irk my soul. Mm. But Vanessa. Oh my and gosh. Asher and that whole storyline that was just also part of the Summer Secret. So we covered Jordan's marriage. Uh, we have... Um, Asher and Vanessa and the whole Mexico thing and the whole she's, you know, they had a connection, as they called it. I'm shaking my head. And she claims that right now in the storyline, she claims that she's not feeling him, but I don't know if I believe that. I I feel like gaslighted because <laughs> I know I saw the two of them have some type of connection to relationship being real cute in Mexico or whatever. Mm, super and then saying cute that she's Mexico. Right? And then saying that she doesn't want JJ, but then that she wants JJ. Like I I'm just very confused as to that whole thing. Asher obviously, if he didn't realize that he had feelings for her previously, he'll realize them as time goes on because they're already mm-hmm. alluding to that. But yeah. I didn't like her the moment that she stepped on the scene, and that's just that. No, her and her little, the Asher I met over summer self, I could not take. We don't care about the Asher you met over summer. We don't even care about the Asher that's on the show. Uh, look, very sorry, but not sorry. My biases are coming out. My biases are coming out. But, you we know. don't care. And as we know, the then then there was like a whole little mini mini secret with patience and and Layla's dad stealing her song, mm-hmm. but that got resolved pretty, pretty yeah. quickly. That was on the lower end. Um, and then Coop Coop didn't have any secrets for the first time ever. I just realized that Coop it, Coop just being everybody business, and it's yes, just yes. I need her to stay in school and just relax. Just graduate high school and That's then true. do your music. You're literally at the end, like you're at the finish but line, and in, you're about to and try to quit high school. Okay, that's the you're other gonna thing do an like... about face. Why? <laughs> For you, look in their love like, in the last, basically the last semester. They're almost a homecoming, so it has to be around like November or something in the timeline. It would just make no sense. No, it's your sense final whatsoever. year. Somebody said instead of running around being the ghetto Nancy Drew, you need to go. <laughs> 
listen, we finally got her back into her music instead of being upset at Spencer. Uh, so I guess that was her, that was her storyline. Yes. Right? That Spencer came to the realization that he was her, she, she. was his stuff point. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> caused the song to go numb because it was her fault that Olivia got shot. And he got That was shot. also wild. Yeah, yeah. That he, that Olivia almost got shot and he got shot. That's what happened. Um, yes, and then the, the big one. <laughs> Which was this tension between between Spencer and Olivia, and then being for the first time we got to see them not that comfortable around each other. Which I don't even know if that's like I feel like they were still comfortable, but they were just like awkward. There was tension there. There was so much sexual tension. It was probable. Yes. I was, was like, that what is the first going episode? on? <laughs> look, look. But, you know, people people sometimes overdo it, and, you know, there's this and that in shows and whatnot. Little things like that, glances, hugs, like, mm-hmm. little touches and caresses, those are what completely set the mood and, like, show you who's really yes. attracted to who. Mm-hmm. And that hug was everything. <laughs> it was everything. And the thing is, it's Man. like, with, with Olivia, she's, she, I'm going to state my bias out. She is my favorite character. I will defend her to <laughs> Dying on that hill. <laughs> I'm dying on that hill. I'm gonna defend def- her, but if you really like pay attention to her, just like throughout the episodes, if you like go back to last season, even in the beginning of, of season two, she was like stealing extra little ke- cheek kisses with him. Like, getting, I know everybody saw that like that touch when they were talking about staying up, like they couldn't sleep. It's just been the when she climbed into bed with him in the hospital. I mean, yeah. I mean, they were close, close, and it. Yeah. And I felt like there were no boundaries, right? Because I mean, yeah. if we want to go all the way back, they had quite the moment in the first season where they're yeah. about to get to that. The, the, all right, they're about to they're, do the they're thing. Unclothed. In the, and in the hot tub. <laughs> it was only because Jordan was like, "That's our brother," <laughs> and it really wasn't. We obviously, we know how that turned out, but yes. Which, there to have this been day, moments since I then. look back and I'm just like, they were twins. So, like, Billy must have really had to do something dirty in order for them to be their brother because they're the same age. Like, that would yeah. be sick. It would be sick. They would have to be, like, Nick Cannon out here. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Stop. Uh, <laughs> one Somebody baby here, he's having a baby, twins like, on the way. every other month. Yeah, it, look. So entanglements yeah. all over the place. Entanglements all hey. over the place. But yeah, it's they've happening. they've had these they they've had these moments, and we didn't see. You know, we started out like not seeing how the summer went, but we we got to see the aftermath of summer just a little bit, and we got to see uh, Spencer get back together with Layla after Trash. it seemed like he was trying to. <laughs> talk to Liv and she wasn't having it so he was just like bet I'm gonna be petty I'm, I mean I thought this was in my mind that he was just like I'm gonna be petty I'm gonna kiss her in front of you I'm gonna do all this stuff uh I'm gonna get back together with Layla and he believed it too because we had the episode where he was just like I'm not the therapist asked him like she, because Layla was being a good girlfriend in the in the first season. She got she this man was. a therapist. She was there for him. She was just like, I want you to communicate better. All of this stuff to support him. Um, meanwhile, he's going to his therapist. And the therapist is like, you're in love with Liv. With Olivia, yep. Yeah. And, and he... this sick, sick man said, nope. <laughs> Can you imagine being so oblivious to your feelings? But I will say, though, I mean, I, I have no problems with Layla. Um, mm-hmm. No issues with her. It's just, again, when we talk about, like, relationship-wise, like, yeah. obviously, Spencer should be with Olivia. That's it. Olivia does come with a whole lot of baggage, and she reminds me Which of we'll it. talk about. Every season. Every single day. Um, but Layla, true and true, was not... She wasn't a bad girlfriend. I think she was a good person. She and yeah. she I don't think she ever did Spencer dirty. So no. she should absolutely find love with Jordan and, yeah. you know, just have that happen. <laughs> said, she needs to find love with somebody. Preferably yeah. Jordan. But it won't be Spencer. Just not. Right. Correct. 
Exactly. <laughs> Would you? I don't know if you saw this, but the cast did a like podcast hangout the other day, and I didn't uh, watch it, but I saw it. Yeah, <laughs> Samantha I, Logan, who plays Olivia, just mentioned something. Basically, what you said. She was just like she turned to Greta, who plays who plays Layla, and she was just like, I just want Layla to find the perfect guy for her. <laughs> Spencer, the perfect guy for her. Exactly. You can't have uh, this, but you should definitely have something for yourself. The other one, yeah, yeah. But she was good, and, you know, we saw, we saw the fallout of that because Spencer, you know, after the big blow up at the cabin with the Never Have I Ever game got out of hand, people got... Mm. Let the record yeah. show that Never Have I Ever is always a messy game. You may think you're going into it innocently, do not, I repeat, Don't. do not <laughs> Don't play do that it. game if there's mess going on. Because you you will be sorry. Very sorry. And you know what? Asher, the one correct thing that he did, he did say that he he would, shouldn't play this game. Um, and he shouldn't have because then it ended with him and Olivia breaking up. Who, well, this wasn't really having to do with the game, but... Coop and Spencer on the outs, and then as we know, uh, then it ended with the Vegas story, which was that, yes, uh, you know, Jordan and Simone got married, Olivia and Spencer tried to stop it, Spencer was ducking. <laughs> Layla, so bad, Whew. lying to her, saying that he was gonna call his mom instead of hanging out with her, and really he was calling Olivia convince her to come, blah, blah, blah. They spend the day together, and he they go to the wedding. They realize their mutual feelings, and he con- kisses her and confesses his love. And not only that he loves her, that, that he is actively in love with her. That was a shock. I, was, I, I as yes. the viewer, was shocked. I expected a kiss. I expected something physical. I did not think that the writers would make that declaration of love so quickly. And here's the thing, right? You just mentioned that when his therapist brought it up, he was like, no, I'm not in love with her. Mm -hmm. Son, you've already admitted to this. (laughs) What kind of mental block are you experiencing to which you have just completely shut that down? Like, no. Although I said it, (laughs) that's not the case. I think that he, in my mind, I guess I saw that as him trying to like move move on on six but it's not even like he was trying to move on because we saw, like any time he was in the same vicinity as olivia right he was the one that was just like we gonna talk or he was he was getting information from layla about olivia like Look, he was just messy but you know got what? It bad. In his teenage in his teenage boy brain he was just like i'm moving on like I do, and I do think that he had love for Layla. I do because they were together for a really long time. Um, he had love for her, but he wasn't not, in love with her. He was not in love with her, but he had love yeah. for her, uh, and he just was struggling. But anyway, we saw that he announced it. She left, which is how they got into the beginning of the season. And there was this big blowout. Layla was upset at Spencer and Olivia. They had a blow up, and then of course Olivia finally. Finally, <laughs> confesses her love for Spencer, which I feel like we as the audience have, have known about for a while. And then she's been drinking this entire time. So, <laughs> he he crashes the car. And I'm not even going to say. He crashes the car? Say. Did I say that? It yeah. Was <laughs> he, took, he took the blame. But that girl definitely crashed that car. She crashes the car. I was going to say, I'm not even going to say what I normally say, which is he took her hand off the wheel. Mm. No, no, no. She crashed the car. She was drunk. And then she asked him to switch seats, which was messed up. Which is how we get to this roller coaster of an episode. Yes. Uh, And before we hop into this episode. Yeah. Just the fact that the writers were clever enough to put Collide as the song. I was like, yes. oh, that's such a beautiful song. But then it's like, they actually collided. And I was like, ah. I had that on repeat after episode seven. Needed. After episode eight, I was like, I cannot, can't listen to this song. Man, it's I, such a beautiful song. It just, It yeah. is a wonderful song. 
I'm going to listen to it now after everything has turned out to be <laughs> good, but we'll get into that. So, yeah, Collide is an excellent song. Um, it, it, all of the tracks that they put behind Spencer and Olivia are just like chef's kiss, I think. Yeah. Just got done recapping the first half of season three. Hope you enjoyed us chatting about that. Uh, tune in to the next episode for a review of episode nine of All American. 